Yeah, I feel like <laughs> there's definitely some traitor behaviour in the office sometimes. I wouldn't be a traitor. Yeah, I'd be faithful. Only similarity between <laughs> social media and sales, we'd all be traitors. Why are you going to be loyal to like Dave who would, just, who would backstab you yeah. just as easily as you would backstab them? So, it's Monday. We're heading to a client shoot in St Albans for a half day, roughly, shoot. Should be good. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Ready to rock them off? Yep. Just got back from the shoot. Time to start collating all the footage, transferring everything over, and get to it. In. I have a question. Yeah. Has anyone or is anyone watching The Traitors? No. no. I've watched the first five episodes. Of the first season or the new one? No, the new one. The new one. Right. <laughs> Do you think that Clout should make a video version of The Traitors? Yeah, I feel like <laughs> there's definitely some traitor behaviour in the office sometimes. Like, if you think about it. Posting something in Slack and not tagging the person and expecting them to see it, that's traitor behaviour. Uh, not putting your stuff in the dishwasher, that's definitely traitor behaviour. Moving someone's charger without telling them, that's just rude. That's, <laughs> that's, just, that's the worst one. <laughs> that's just straight up rude. And just having like a dirty work, like cluttered workspace, don't look at mine. <laughs> I just out myself. If we were going to make this happen, I need one idea about how we could execute it. Obviously, the round table bit's absolutely fine. We all know how we can sort out round table. What would yeah. you do as like some of the challenges? What are the incentives? What, how, how would we sort out this thing to catch traitors? Catch traitors. And to see who the faithfuls are. Like, how would we go about it? Like, what do we need to do? Because we obviously can't stay in, a, in like a big mansion for three weeks and see who's traitorish. Um, we, need, we need a way that we can play this game in like 45 minutes. I feel like we've got to do a challenge and then it's got to be like, have you ever seen um, Trapped? It's got to be like- Someone's a saboteur. Yeah, we've got to have like a couple, like one or two saboteurs that have to like make the challenge not go right. And then people have to like vote for who they think it is. I like it. I think that's how we should, we should do it Trapped Star World than Traitor Star. Because Trapped is really the OG traitors if you think about it. Like in the ear, like it was quite creepy if you think about it, they just put loads of kids in a castle. <laughs> <laughs> and a I weird mean, woman whispered in their ear. I mean, I don't think they actually did, but yeah. <laughs> but then they fell through, the idea was they fell through this trapped room with their forever. Were there forever, yeah. <laughs> I thought that was real as a child. I don't know about you. But yeah, no, we should definitely record it. Come on. Um, so, Charlotte said Britain's Got Talent is happening, right? Oh, yeah, Charlotte said it. So, where are they? Are they nearby? Sick. Curbside Convos is back. Six months later, we're finally going outside. We're going to be interviewing the people of London, asking them all about the controversy about Margot Robbie and Gre Greta Gerwig being snubbed in the Oscars. What do they think? We're going to be asking them about entrepreneur op entrepreneurship, personal branding. Who do they think of when I say YouTube, TikTok, marketing, all that jazz? And it's coming up. Make sure you leave your comments down below with your answers as well. All right? Oh, we didn't we didn't press the button. All right? These, these are the sort of people I'm working with. All right? They didn't even press the button. It was you. Oh, it wasn't. Talent is happening, right? Oh, yeah, Charlotte said it. So, where are they? Make sure you cut the bit that I press the button. Imagine if we got stuck in the We could do co curbside convo. Oh. Oh. Why have you put one? She put one. Your answers as well, all right? Oh, we did. Right, great start, guys. Great start. It's ground because we're going so to the ground floor. As well. That looks so staged. It Character by it. Like you press the button. <laughs> we're going ground floor, Charlotte, to exit. Not one. Unless we do curbside combo on floor one of the office. Should we just go around the um the <laughs> office building? Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's um one of the judges. Alicia Dixon. That's it. Yeah. Alicia Dixon outside, walking, wearing a fabulous um uh, Giorgio Armani with um, YSL heels. <laughs> Who's next? I'm describing what they're wearing. This is like my dream job here. But I'm just making up what they're actually wearing. Oh, they're still, it's still Alicia's time here. Wow. 
Visa? Which one? Ant or deck? Which one is it? I can never is remember it? which way around it. Oh is. my god, I didn't even realise. <laughs> if you were on the traitors, would you be a faithful or a traitor? Which I don't would you prefer know to what be? It is. <laughs> Basically. At the start, imagine I'm Claudia Winkleman with the with the hair, um, <laughs> and I ask you a question like, "Do you think you're like an honest, trustworthy person in this game? Would you like to be one of the honest, trustworthy person? Would you like to be someone stabbing people in the back, like oh, on the sly?" Honest. You'd be faithful, yeah. would you? Yeah, I would. What are the 2024? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'd be faithful. I even tried to play that. Um, fish game at Christmas and I just giggle. All my lies get too elaborate. Fish game? Yeah. Meg's not capable of lying. It's a blue it's fish. It's a bullshit a card game. I can like that. Yeah, but I'm really bad at that as well. Like you have like three things and there's like that and chameleon and basically you have I've to got make people yeah, I've got chameleon yeah. as well. Yeah, it's like the same premise. I don't mind that because it's not like stuff. Chameleon is so good. It's a card game. Again, vlog footage, B-roll. Um, Clout takes London. We work in London. We do. Do <laughs> people think we're celebrities? No. <laughs> also, hold on to your phones here, because this is where our phones are. Yeah, but I've spent more time with my mum, it's not my boyfriend. I wouldn't be a traitor. Yeah, you would. You would. <laughs> Bye. No, I don't want to be in anymore. You don't want to be in anymore? No. Why? I have a headache. Thanks for having me. That's traitorish behaviour, that is. <laughs> Thanks. I don't know what the question was. Would you be oh, faithful or a traitor? traitor? <laughs> You'd be a traitor. Yeah, I feel like I'd be a traitor. The entire social media team would be traitors. That's what we do. Social media and that's the only similarity between social media and sales. We'd all be traitors. Everyone else would be like, oh what, no. You're just out here to do people dirty. Yeah. Literally, my job is that. Well, marketing is inherently in not manipulation. Yeah, it's literally manipulation. We manipulate for a living. So, anyone that's social media what? slash sales. Type, manipulate, manipulate. Traitors. I don't even have to ask you because you're busy working, but you'd be a faithful, wouldn't you? I don't, I don't have time. Yeah, you'd be a faithful. Or you'd be a fantastic traitor. Because no one would suspect a thing. I don't have time. <laughs> have you watched or have you heard of the traitors? No. I've traitors? I've, seen, I've heard of it, but I've not seen it. I've seen it trending and just ignored it because it looks shit. It's a, <laughs> did you watch? Yeah, it's a TV show basically. Where, I like, don't watch TV. No. Where people like backstab people, but it's like on the film. The traitors is so It's like. No, my, I haven't. My question is, would you be faithful or would you be a traitor if you had the choice on this game show? Yeah, but what's the context? The context is if the, if the traitors manage to get through to the end of the game without being called a traitor, without being called out, it's like they, they get to win all the money. It's poker. Mm, no, because poker's about having a better hand than someone else. No, it's not. I've won many poker games with the shit. Or bluffing, yeah. <laughs> or bluffing, yeah, you're right. What would but you prefer? Would you prefer to be faithful and a good person and get oh, to I'd the end? But faithful to who? Faithful to the rest of your teammates because they split them, they split the money at the end if they all win. Are they, they just win. strangers or are they your friends? Yeah, they're, they're strangers, strangers oh, who come together. Oh fuck them! <laughs> Traitor all the way. If they were my friends, I absolutely would never, would like not even a shadow of a doubt, would be faithful. But strangers, come on, absolutely not. No, I agree. Fuck you all. I want the money. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why? Why are you going to be loyal to like Dave, who would just who would backstab you yeah. just as easily as you would backstab them? I agree. And everyone would suspect, suspect me anyway, so I would never get away with it because they'd all think that I'd be a backstabber. <laughs> I'm too yeah, honest. First round. I'm like, oh, fuck all of you. <laughs> I need all of your marketing brains to come up with a really fucking smart, clever, viral way that we can get everyone to get clout. So my brain's going like, what can we do physically? Like, should we go and hire one of those companies that like spray like, have you got clout on the floor with a QR code? Or could we go and buy like a thousand like parking ticket? things and like whack them under loads of people. Like what what can we do that's like different and interesting and physical? What are we not what are we like how are we reaching those people? You know? First they always do the cardboard thing. 
person in the street. That yeah, we don't want to do something that people always do, though. I, Same I as you're on the parking that, tickets, because right? Gymshark did the parking that, tickets. That and... marketing thing. Yeah. I want to find something that we can own. Like, what can we own? 